everyone, welcome back to another video, welcome back to another studio vlog and welcome back to another week. I am so so excited to be back. If you haven't noticed, I haven't posted in like two weeks because I was taking some time off as I told you on last studio vlog and yes, I have a new hair. I finally cut in my hair, I gained the courage and I did it and I love it because it's so fresh and light and I'm so so happy with it. Anyway, I'm back, I'm here in the studio and I'm so so happy and a lot of exciting things are happening um, and I can't wait to share with you all. Uh, my patrons already know most of it but the big one is I'm getting ready for another shop update starting this week. I've been doing shop updates for the past two months, I think. Uh, every month. I don't know why. I feel like I haven't done a shop page in a while because I've been basically using illustrations that I already use for Patreon and stuff like that. So it's been a while since I have new products, like very new products here um, for my shop. As you probably um, saw from the beginning of this video, I got two boxes and I can't wait to open them with you. One, you already know what it is, I already showed you. It's my first ever animal pin and I'm so so happy with it. Of course I already had a peek because I was so so excited and so so nervous because yeah it's such a new product and it's expensive, it's such a big investment so I had to take a look, I'm sorry. It won't be a super like surprise unboxing for me, but it will be for you, so that will be exciting as well. And the other big box is something that I've been working with my patrons for some months now. This will be the first time that I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> so so happy that I can finally share with you. So basically a couple of months ago I had a goal of 50 patrons um, on my Patreon and the goal was to do a secret um, project with them and that will be a new product for the shop that I never done before and basically my patrons helped me uh, with the entire process since picking the themes, the product itself, the colors, um, like basically everything from the beginning to the end of the product. It's one of my dream products for sure and I never thought that was going to be possible and I never thought I was going to have this product with my work and my illustrations and just looking at them it's just mind-blowing. This was the first time I'm basically manufacturing products. If you follow me for a while you probably know that I basically do everything here in the studio all the products that I have on my shop I do them myself from start to finish sending them to someone else to make them and not have control of the process was nerve-wracking but I'm so so happy with the final result and I can't basically wait to do more um, so yeah without further ado let's open the boxes and let me show you what's coming <laughs> I'm so excited okay so these are the boxes this is the patreon secret product and this one little box over here it's the pins i only order one design and i order the minimum quantity because i have no idea if you guys will like animal pins or not so i was a little afraid so i basically order minimum quantity of everything so the investment wouldn't be that big it still was but yeah let's just open them and I can't wait to show them because they look so cute. Okay, first of all, let's open the pins. As you can see, I already opened them up because I was so excited and nervous to uh, open them. I asked the manufacturers that made them if I could have them wrapped up in tissue paper instead of those little plastic bags that they come individually most of the times. They still come with a lot of plastic, as you can see over here, but at least individually it's just tissue paper and I can use this like to fill boxes and all kind of things so let's open them and uh, let's take a peek <laughs> and this way it's even more exciting to do an unboxing because I can't really see them until I unwrapped them individually <laughs> forgot to put the rubber uh, things on the back they put like the metal metal uh, butterfly cl clasps I think that's the name um, and they already had wrapped all of these so I 
felt bad <laughs> and I didn't want them to unwrap them all individually so I just said that I would add them so I think for this ones the first ones I'll have an option to the shop where you can choose the rubber thing or the metal thing for the same price okay the moment has come let's unpack them Okay, let's just open one and I'll show you and then I'll have to go through all of them to see if I have a lot of seconds or not um, and to see which ones I can sell full price or maybe half price or something like that. So let's open one. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yay! Here it is, here's the little guy. Wait, it's too bright. It looks so, so cute. What do you think about this little guy? I just, I love him so, so much. I think the sizing, it's perfect. It's not too big and it's not too small. For the first pin, it's so, so nice because it doesn't have a lot of details or screen printing. So it was really, really nice. So yeah, let's open a few more. Okay, let's unbox the other box uh, and then I'll unwrap them and we'll check them later for seconds and all the kind of things. And I'll do that to these ones and for the other box that I'm going to show you now. Let's go, I'm so excited for you to see everything. Okay, here's the other box and this one is huge. <laughs> I'm so, so excited and nervous for you to see it. So let's just open it and yeah, so. Surprise, 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 I did with my patrons washi tapes. <laughs> look at them. So the manufacturer sent me a couple of samples and I'll look into those later, but let's just go into the things that really, really matters. That is washi tapes. And this will be the first time you're also seeing these illustrations because I basically create them from scratch with my patrons. They chose the themes, the colors, all of it. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, let's just take them out of the box. I think they are so, so many. I am so, so excited. I order 50 of each design and there's four different designs in here. So this is the positive positivity one. Then we have Steve and friend, that is the little bird. We have fairies and little nature ones and then we have the rocky washi tape so let's unpack them so you can see the whole thing this is the first one it's a rocky washi tape and i absolutely love this character um i'm not totally happy with these stickers for the packaging even though like the texture and everything i think they are vinyl um it's super, super nice, like the quality, I don't know if you can tell, is not good at all. It looks like from a cheap uh, printer or something, you can see a lot of dots and stuff like that. So I'll still need to message my manufacturer uh, about that so it doesn't happen uh, next time, but at least you know that these ones um, will come like this. And I did basically Rocky um, with a lot of face expressions and stuff like that. I'm still not sure if I'm going to sell uh, these ones um, at full price. I still need to check them uh, and see which ones are good and not. Um, because I didn't feel, um, I still need to check the files, but I didn't feel like the bleed entirely up to the edges. So you can see, see there's a lot of white space on the base of the washi tape. Um, and this really bothers me probably you won't tell the difference but i do but yeah this is the rocky um washi then we have the positivity one and i my patrons told me that this had a um, misspelling and i corrected it and i don't even know how but i still managed to send out the um, the file without the correction so yeah, you'll get the washi tape without an eye, <laughs> but so sorry about that. Ah, uh, what a mess. 
but yeah this is basically some positive teapots and stuff like that I think for the the sticker sheet that I'll do with this collection I'll also add um, like little positive phrases to the washi to the sticker sheet or something like that um, the first plan was to add the phrases onto like the tea bags and stuff like that but my patrons thought that they were uh, they weren't going to be like legible um, on the washi because they were going to be so so small so this is the final result uh, for this one and I really really love it then we have the fairy ones and I think this might be my favorite it's the one that has most details and I did like characters like full body and all that kind of things and here it is the final result it's so so cute it has mushrooms and it has the fairies and the last one it's Steve Steve will have finally a comeback to the shop um, I the first time I created Steve was for Christmas and you guys absolutely love him and me too I absolutely love this character um, and this one was for spring but <laughs> It's almost summer, so um, yeah, I'll still need to do um, a collection with Steve for summer. I think that will be super, super fun as well. But Steve has a new friend that is this little bird and I really, really love it. I absolutely love the colors and this one has like a colored background as well as the fairies. I love it so, so much. So yeah, let me show you how they look on paper. So this is how they look. I basically put them on my planner and I was so so happy because the colors really really pop. They look so so nice. As you can see this is what I meant um, for the rocky one. There's a lot of white space like since here to the bottom uh, but I still need to check if there's a lot of them or some maybe more centered or something like that. Then we have the T one. This is like the pattern and this is the fairy one that has like a lot of flowers and grass and all the kind of things and then Steve and the little bird and I really love the color combo on this one and yeah this is the final result of the four washi tapes I'm so so happy with them please do let me know which one is your favorite I think mine it's the fairies but I absolutely love them all but if I had to choose I would say maybe the fairies and Steve one now it's one of those tasks that have to be done. I'll go through all of this uh, mess. Uh, I'm going to count them and I'm going to see if there's some seconds or if they all look nice and I'm going to do the same for the pins. Let's go! Washies are all checked. I consider these ones as seconds and let me try to show you why. They seem a little blurred out and not with the image defined. Not sure if it'll be like this, the, like the whole uh, washi tape, but still it's a lot that is a little blurred out. And it's the same on these ones, but at least it's like two per design, so it's fine. It's not a lot. I'm going to add them to the shelves. I'm going to put them on this box. I'm still going to go to the shop today, I think, to get some more boxes so I can get one box per design. So yeah, let's put them over there.
they are so i've put the second ones over there and then i've put them like this and it looks like a mess so i'm going to get other two boxes or maybe more uh for the future so i can put like one design on each box and then on a few weeks i'm going to do some changes here in the studio maybe next week or this week i have no idea and probably i'll have more space to save like things so they are not here uh, so i can put here some of the products and then the rest i can save up like on uh, drawers or something like that uh, so i'll need to get more like of these drawer thingies because they are really useful for these kind of things so yeah this is what i have so far in the near future everything is going to change and i'll hopefully have more storage space uh not in the wild <laughs> in the studio in the meanwhile i already unpacked all of the pins and i still haven't checked for seconds they are still all together but i think i'm going to have a lot of them a lot of them have like little scratches i don't know if you can see it on camera it's like where it has colors i mean can you see when it's shiny like in here down below and it goes almost all the way across some of them are like little scratches but some like this are really big and this is full of figure prints but so i think i'm going to have a lot um of these like this and it's more on the colored part and not exactly on the um, gold part but i think i'm going to choose them tomorrow so i can have a fresh set of eyes because it's already pretty late it's now 7 pm i think um i also wanted to show you i tried with like a backing card this is the backing card that i use for the strawberries like for the earrings for the sticker packs and stuff like that but i don't really like seeing the enamel pin on this one so i think tomorrow i'm going to design with you some new backing cards i think they are going to be a little more fancier than this and maybe a little more complex we'll see about that or maybe a little more simple because i don't know it feels cheap i think so we'll see about that tomorrow so yeah i think i'm going to rest and i'm going to have a veggie burger because i really feel like a burger now and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow my hair already feels like a mess now i'm not used to having short hair so it gets dirty really fast <laughs> I don't know if this is too much information, but do let me know if you have the same problem if you have short hair But yeah, it's also really really warm here in Portugal. So that might be one of the reasons as well <laughs> But yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and we are going to choose the pins and maybe do some new backing cards. So exciting <laughs>are selected and this was a little bit harder uh, than I expected let me show you how I selected them and why I've put them in different categories of like the condition they are yeah let me show you <laughs> So these are all that I consider they are in perfect condition. They don't have like any scratches or anything. They only have like the normal marks um, for the enamel pins. Then apart from these ones, I separated two different groups that I think um, that I don't want to sell as full price because they have some tiny flaws. 
and I think I'm going to um, sell them in three different groups so this one will be sold at the full price and then I'll have some I don't even know how to call these ones because the flaws are really really small but maybe I'll call them B uh, B grades and this will be the C grades that the flaws are not very big as well but they are a little bit bigger than these ones um, so yeah I didn't want to put them in the same group so let me see if I can show you so this one has a little scratched like below I don't know if you can see this one has a little incision in here I think you can see it like can you see it right there? So it's really, really small, but I still don't want to sell them at full price for like compared to the, um, the perfect ones, but it's still really small flaws as you can see. But these ones have like bigger scratches. This one has a little stain over here. And this one is missing like not just an incision, it's the big it's right here. And this one has a really big scratch over there i don't know if you can see it but yeah the flaws are still pretty minor but i still don't want to put them in the same group as did what these ones that the the flaws are really really tiny so i think i'm going to do that like this so this will be the full price ones this probably i'll call them like b grades or something like that and maybe these ones will be c grades even though these ones should be called like a minus but yeah so it will be easier for people to uh, see the difference and all the kind of thing. So yeah, this wasn't easy to show um, and it wasn't easy to like pick them because I had to be with really close attention like looking at them but yeah I'm pretty happy with the selection and what do you think of this new setup for filming? At least you can see like a little bit of the studio. <laughs> I don't know, let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, I think now I'm going to go on the iPad or the computer and I'll try to do like a business card uh, size for the backing cards and I think I'm going to print them outside so it will be easier um, because I know like um, normally I do everything on the studio so I'll just do them in small batches but since I'm manufacturing them I'll always have like 50 or 100 of them so I think I'll just do the business cards and print them outside so that will be done and yeah let's try some things out I'm not sure how I want them to look but I really didn't like the pattern one that I had yesterday so yeah let's try them out a lot later now I still didn't do what I wanted to do that was the backing cards for the pins um, I was editing the exclusive video for patreon I filmed a little of my vacation so I put it all together and I created the exclusive video for this month and then I don't even know how uh, I end up there but I end up doing a lot of admin work because I want to explore an alternative so I can do my shop invoices um, automatically but on Wix it's really hard to find like a program with integration with Wix that do that automatic automatically uh, so I basically end up um, searching all about that and how I could do it and without changing the website from Wix because I really love it I never had a problem and it's one of the cheapest uh, ones I could find like uh, compared to like Shopify and Squarespace and all that kind of things so yeah that's what I've been doing for the past couple of hours there's so much more about having a business than just create fun things sometimes you want to have a super productive day and you end up looking about invoices for like four hours of your day oh so yeah let's go on the drawing tablet and let's try to do the backing cards finally <laughs>
here's the final result. I did this one, this simpler one as well, and I'm not sure which one I like the best, but it looks way better than the simpler one that I had before. I think I'm going to put a poll on my patient and ask them which ones they like the best. And as you can tell, I gave him a name. Um, he has been on my shop a lot of products, so I thought it was time to give him a name and I love to give my characters a name so we already have Steve, Rocky and now we have little cute Benny over here but yeah let me know what you think and which one you like the best I think I'm just going to add a poll on Patreon and ask them I think this one has a lot more information um, but I really like it but I also really like this little one and it gives more attention to the pin I guess so yeah I don't know I'm going to ask my patrons and then I'll order and this is the business card size so I'll order them as business cards so a lot of my patrons already voted and everyone is choosing this one I already rounded the corners so I could see how they look and I think it looks so so cute I just love seeing things like on backing cards because they look so well put together and nice but yeah i'm going to order them and then i'll round the corners here in the studio little benny says hi it's now thursday and yesterday i ordered the business cards like the backing cards as business cards and some of my patrons voted for the simpler version but most of them <laughs> like 90 percent voted for the ones with the flower background the simpler one and this was with the flower background so this will be the one that i'll be using with the pins i this is like a business card size and then when they arrive at the studio i'll just round the corners and i think it looks so, so cute and if you take out the pin it's a flower so maybe you can cut it up and put it at your planner or something like that so yeah i'm really really happy with it and i can wait for them to arrive and for me to to mount them and see them all together it will be so so fun i'm <laughs> so so happy with it i just want to make new pins um i think they are so cute and nice i'm blown away um so yeah um i'm going to wrap up the vlog now i already ordered them and once they arrive we are going to mount them all together um so i'm actually going to finish this studio vlog a little bit earlier um, and I'm going to edit it today because today or tomorrow I want to start the studio vlog for next week and I'm finally going to change the studio so yeah I'll keep you posted on that but I think next week's studio vlog will be all about that also that furniture over there it's full of things that I don't really use and I feel like me starting to do washi tapes and animal pins and stuff like that I will be needing more storage space uh, like drawers and stuff like that so yeah I really need to organize the studio and I'll be doing a little makeover at the same time stay tuned <laughs> I have no idea how that will work but I think it's going to be exciting and nice to see it all come together I'll take it to the shop with me to buy paints and all kind of things so yeah stay tuned for that and yeah i'm going to finish this studio vlog here i hope you enjoyed it please let me know in the comments uh which new product you like the most i can't believe i'm doing pins and washi tapes it's like crazy to me i hope really hope you guys like it once i have a date i will let you know when the washi tapes and the pins uh will be available but yeah do let me know which one is your favorite design and which one is your favorite product i really want to know <laughs> Which design do you like the best so yeah i hope you enjoyed it i really missed talking to you guys and filmed uh it's now part of my life and it's weird when i'm not filming and talking with you so yeah i hope you enjoyed this studio vlog i'm so so happy to be, to be back and so so excited and i'll talk to you guys very very soon see you next week bye bye